Hello, everybody. This is Grandmaster Maxim Blugi with Banter Blitz. Uh, as you can see in the background, there's a chess table, a new appearance in my furniture roster, uh, which I brought from Canada after winning the Ontario Open this weekend. So I'm in good form. Beware. Um, I actually played three Scandinavian defenses and scored two and a half out of three against tough, com tough competition. So I may use that today. Be careful if you're an E4 player. Anyway, good luck. And uh, may the best men win. And uh, let's see who we got today. All right. Virtuoso. Nice name. Um, good luck to you. Okay. Let's start. Aha. Uh -huh, very pa a passive way, but uh, not too bad. Not a possibility. Anatoly Karpov plays this way sometimes. But I, I prefer this Grunfeld transposition. Ah, very interesting. Okay, let's see how this works. Okay, just a quick look how quickly you're playing. Real virtuoso. Okay. Let's get some pieces out. It's always a good idea to develop a bit. In Russia, they used to say you should develop in childhood. But um, it used to be a common chess joke. I don't know why it's so funny, but they used to say it anyway. So let me get on this development development path. Okay, let's see. Maybe here. Interesting position. Okay, now my knight can develop to this nice square. And the rook can develop here. Okay, see how I made a few developing moves. Immediately my position's starting to grow on me. But it's still very, very unclear and interesting. White is playing a tough game, I have to say. Logical moves. Interesting ideas. A lurking around here somewhere. Okay, we have a little bit of a think from White. It's probably a good time to take a little bit of a thinking pause here. As things may develop very quickly after this. Okay. Grab this guy. And play here. Safe move for now. Okay. Okay, maybe we should try to line up some more pieces in into an aggressive position. Many years ago, I played a game against Lev Albert, this kind of pawn structure, and I didn't know what happened, but I had some chances, but finally he won. It was one of the first ones I played in these kind of, uh, this kind of pawn structure. Very complicated is what I remember from that experience. Okay, let me try to get a little bit active here on the king side. Never hurts to get a little bit more active, maybe. And a little bit more active. Okay. Suddenly it looks like white is not doing that great. Although I may be wrong. Let me get some more pieces into this. Into this mess around white's king. And perhaps one day It'll all add up to a winning, 
attacked. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have some tactics here that I'm contemplating, but none of them are final. No, none of them look like they're going to finish wide off, so I'll try something. I'll try something here. And, okay. So looking interesting again, but okay, let's try this. This. Okay, and now interesting stuff still. Um, let's try this check and maybe this check as well. And then it seems like somehow I managed to mate white. Although it was quite an interesting exercise, I think. A very interesting combination. I would like to analyze it at some point because to, to just see what really happened there. But that was a tough game. I managed to break through though. Okay, good luck. Very nicely played, Vertoza. Just uh, tough. It got tough at some point. Maybe Queen F3, maybe something else there, but uh, very tough game. Okay. Who is next? Told you I'm in good form. See? I managed to pick that up, pick up that fork and pin. Okay, we've played before, certainly. And good luck again. Okay, let's go the the exchange variation. Exchange variation is always nice. It's always very clear what to do for white. Not much thinking is involved for a while, which is nice sometimes. Just develop your pieces. Aha, uh -huh. this one, fine. Interesting stuff, A6, okay. And C5, look at that. Okay. Let me take. And actually save my bishop for a while. Okay, no problem. I can certainly w live with that exchange. <clears throat> Looks like black has an isolated pawn. And not that much activity to show for it, so I would expect that white has an advantage here. My knights are nicely protecting each other, so that any knight move to e4, for example, is not going to really attack my knight. This one I can just castle, finally. It's always good to castle. Okay, and exactly what I was saying. No need to react to this because my knights are protecting each other. Now the deep one is in trouble. Okay, this does not protect the deep one, but does attack the B pawn. If I take on D5, he takes on b2 so why don't i just protect the b pawn okay that's fine now the d pawns attack three times and defended only once which means i should be the one getting it in the short in short order okay there are some complications involved with the back rank should I go for them or 
maybe I can get this pawn in a slightly better setting. Let's say if I exchange the bishop for the knight and then take with the knight on d5. That would be probably a little bit more convenient in terms of uh, pawn grabs. That's a good move. But I, if I take the on e6, then the pawn's defended. So I can move my queen, though, for now. And still, OK, now move my queen here. That was an important move to 4c, because I certainly didn't want to give up that bishop. Aha, uh -huh, very nice. Wow, black is really finding the best defenses here. And look at this, save the pawn. Save the pawn. So now let me make a loft. So maybe I should have just taken that pawn immediately, right? Now time to add more stuff to the D to the decompression chamber, the D pawn attack. Let's see how black deals with this. Okay, adding more pieces. Good idea. Okay, and then let me stop this one for now. Classical, classical position. Classical advantage for white. How to improve the position. How to get the most out of it. Interesting. Let's see. Okay, black's maneuvering as well. And now I will... I need to re structure my attack so uh, I'm gonna move my queen here first I'm gonna move my rook here second so, um, Okay, but this allows me to immediately win the pawn with e4. Okay, I understand, I understand. I'm also not... Okay, let me take the knight, because it was attacked. And meanwhile, I'm threatening quite a lot of stuff. The b pawn, the... Knight on f6, the rook on d8, they're all under attack. Well, certainly this is a big one. This is the queen. Fork and pin, you got forked. Sorry about that. Didn't get pinned, though. That's a positive. All right. Who's next? I'm not going to be as easy as last time when I lost two games. I'm in good shape. That's right, Dodgy. Good luck, but I'm in good shape today. Okay, I'm going to play this line. All right. Nicely done. Okay, this is a bit unclear to me if this is a good move. So let's see. Okay, let's get that knight away from the good people. Um, and uh, I don't know, it's kind of tempting to just play e4 here. I'm going to do it. Just so tempting. And just defend everything with... Because black really, I think, has the luxury of doing that because white moved the knight away. I mean, that knight maneuver, knight f3, blah, 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 going to a3, it does not look too hot. So if I just develop quickly, I may catch white quite seriously here. But let's see, let's see. Could get quite complicated. Just castle. Castling is always good, as they say. Aha, uh -huh. didn't take any four immediately. Fine. Let me start with this check.
a bit complicated this position. <clears throat> but I think it's okay for me. Aha, uh -huh. finally a decision has been reached. Okay. <laughs> what to do? Interesting. Okay, I'm analyzing some very complex lines, but I'm spending too much time. So let me make it simpler. Just play a move like this. Getting my queen away from the pin is probably an important solution to of this puzzle. Part of the solution. Check. And take probably the knight, no? Okay, maybe I should take this guy after all. Probably take this guy. Aha, uh -huh, you're taking this. Okay, then I can get the out of this the tempo here. And then then what should I do here? Maybe I can take this guy. This is too complicated. I shouldn't really get myself into this mess. Very complicated stuff, huh? I'm temporarily pawn up. Oh, well, now I'm temporarily up. Would be more, more than a pawn. I would be a knight up. But is it worth it? Let's see. If I take the knight, dun dun dun. It could be very very sad for me. So let me not take the knight, because knight f6, I think, would be very strong. And queen takes f6, threatening bishop takes d, bishop d5 mate. Probably no defense. Okay, this one I can stop or not. Oh, yay, yay. Yay, 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 what to do? Okay, I'm going to play here. Oi, 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 I missed that one. This is looking dangerous. This is looking very dangerous to me. Not the position I was hoping for, let's put it this way. Dodgy. Nicely done. Dodging some serious bullets in there. Okay, still alive. Uh -huh. Still alive. 
Oh, finally developed. Oh my god. Took a while. Took a while to develop, but I finally did it. Finally managed to develop. That's so important sometimes. It's so important to develop. Okay. Ay, this phone call came at a bad time. Where is this phone call coming from? Ay. Immediately, immediately blundering. Immediately blundering as soon as the phone call came. Ay, 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 that's too bad. Very bad to blunder like that. Uh-huh. Check. Oh, interesting stuff. Yeah. It's very bad. Very bad. Very bad. I was doing so well and then this call came from God knows where. Phone that's not been not supposed to ring. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Very unfortunate. One down. One down. Let's see if I can survive this. Never know. Wow. Well, might as well, right? Let's see. Let's see how you do it. Let's see how you do it. This could be a long game. I'd be very proud of myself if I finally draw. Although these bishop and knight endings, they're quite complicated. Could be quite complicated. Oh, we're back to where we started. Yeah. This is tough. I have to admit, this is tough. You need a structured idea here. And otherwise, you just, just play for 50 moves and it's still going to be drawn, right? Wow, this game is really moving along. Wow, where are we going with that? Where are we going with that? Oh, 
Ooh. Ooh. Let me run. Let me run. Catch me if you can. Okay. Draw. Tough game. <laughs> I survived that one. I thought I was doing okay when I finally got this unexpected phone call. Good game, though. <clears throat> okay. Spicy opening. Very spicy. Okay. Much spicier than even I thought. Okay, let's see what happens now. What this check takes. Let's get active quickly. Activation immediate. All right. Good point. How about I take this pawn here, just for just for fun, and do this check here. That com completes my task of winning the queen on move 10, which is not a bad start to an opening, I think. And thank you very much. Yeah, something has to be done with that opening. C5, D6, and E6 should not be played in that move order. Okay. <clears throat> Who do we have today? Who's next? I already gave up a draw. Uh, after challenging myself in a too tough duel. Preparer. Okay. Let's prepare something interesting. Okay. D4. Good move. Okay. Let me get out. Oh. My pawns are attacked. I better defend that one. Okay. Let's get some pieces out here. Okay. Thank you obliging okay another flank pawn is exchanged for central pawn not too bad not too bad for me I think got some good central central pawns in there now that I don't want to allow yes steady as it goes fine now let's uh, challenge that knight challenge that bishop Let's see, what is White thinking about how to develop, right? Okay, good. Okay, fine. I'll accept that trade too. I'm hoping the B3 pawn is going to be weak and I can attack it. That's what I'm hoping. But black. Needs to be careful too. Not to move not to move the pieces too far away. I was thinking Queen B6, but then knight g5. Okay, this is not necessarily a threat. But can I just take a pawn? I don't see why not. Okay, let's exchange those guys. Okay, so I'm going to pull it up. Can't be too bad. What does white have to show for it? I don't know. Okay. You know what? Why don't we... No. Just queen d6. Simple. Okay, this one I had this response to now. Now that my knight is safe to move, doesn't... Okay, this one, I thought h6 would be strong. Was I wrong in that supposition? I don't think so. Knight moves, I take the pawn. Knight doesn't move, I take the knight. Either way, problems for black, for white. 
second pawn bites the dust. Okay, that's fine. I can see that. I can see it. I can see it. You know what? I'll double those rooks. Just because I want them doubled. And then let's go into an ending. How about that? An ending should be cool here. Two pawns up. A weak B pawn. Should be a cool ending. Oh, the ending is what I want. The ending. Okay, see? Convinced you after all. Okay, let's get our knight close in. No, 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 close, close. Very close. Let's get our rooks in too. And let's get that rook in there and this knight in there. And that completes the game. Thank you very much. Okay. Who do we have next? A big crowd is coming at me, and the winner is chess arising. All right, good luck there. All right, not the central strategy. Full block, no problem. I can certainly deal with that idea. When my opponents give me the center, I don't say anything but thank you. Thank you very much for that center. That scrumptious, delicious center. Okay, this one I'm I'm going to get rid of. Now we have a center. Okay, this is interesting. You're attacking me without actually developing. That's an interesting thought. Kind of want to punish you immediately, but you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna take it easy for now. I'll just wait. I'll just wait till the time is right, like now, like now. I'm going to attack when I'm good and ready, and I think it might be that time. Okay, I'm actually evaluating some interesting combinations, uh, but maybe instead of combining, I just can play it simply with well, I don't know. I want to make knight e6, fe, queen h5, king e7 work. But fine, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to take it easy. I will just improve my position, weakening you further. And then I'll come out. <sighs> It's not so easy for black, I think, right? Because I can take this pawn. And this is actually quite devastating, if you think about it. If you don't think about it, it's still going to be devastating. But if you think about it, it will be very devastating. Thank you. Tough game. But the opening, I don't like. Central strategy has always worked for people. Look at some of Botvinnik games. He liked the center. Okay. Deep forward. Good luck. Good luck to you. May the best man win. All right, good move. Um, all right, c5. Why not? Okay, g6. Get them. Get them out early. Okay. Attacking the knight. All right, good going. Let's get this guy out. And let's get this guy out as well. All right. Let's get some of my pieces out earlier. Get the bishops exchanged because those guys are menace. Those guys are usually menace. Got to get off. Got to get those guys off. Now attack the C pawn. Mm -hmm. 
not so obvious what to do. All right, okay, okay, good deal. Let's get one of them off the board. Okay, nice. Now, good question. Guess this night is a bit of a nuisance. Let's get it exchanged. I could gone I could have gone knight c4 too, but what's the difference really? Okay, now I like my position. Yeah, especially, and look at it, I have a nice pawn structure. White has weaknesses everywhere. Oh my god, okay, well that's, well, I can take the e pawn, but then rookie one happens, right? So, um, it's actually quite a cool move. So I'll be a pawn up. Black will be, black, white will have some compensation. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just go into the Rook and Pawn ending. That's what I'll do. Tag the spawn. White's playing a reasonable game here. Yes, and then I won't take. I'll just keep my pawn, Rook and the C file. Okay, that's good. Now I can just defend this one for now. And try to use my extra. Well, no, this I do not believe. I do not believe this is a survivable endgame. So I'm going to go for the immediate pawn thrust, as they say. The immediate pawn thrust. It's not going to be too much to evaluate because I'll just queen on a1 in the next few moves. So it's not a really complicated pawn, king and pawn ending as it turns out. It's just the king's just not in time. I'm sorry. Sometimes it just doesn't work out. But tough game until that. Okay. Who do we have next? Oh, we have someone really tough. 2677. Wow. Brownie Baker. All right. Good luck. Let's let's do it. A banker gambit. Wow. That's a tough line. Tough line to meet. All right. A pawn to my liking. Okay. I took a pawn. I need my bishop for now. And just develop my pieces, right? Get that bishop where it can see the eyes, the whites of the eyes of the dark squared bishop. Doesn't really work out that way, but you know what I mean. I want to see that bishop. Okay, we can exchange one knight, but that's about it. That's all we're going to exchange. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Black is playing very quickly. But are these moves any good? That's, that will remain to be seen. I don't see any compensation for the pawn here. And I think I can now start my own attack. Yeah, it's tough now, right? Black moved the pieces where they are supposed to be, but where's the compensation? Oh my god, really? You're going to attack me? Okay, well, let, let me stop that. Let me stop that right now. That whole attacking idea of yours. 
Okay, I'll I'll go here for now, but it is a little bit weird what's going on here. All right, I'm I'm starting the attack. I'll be the guy who starts the attack. I'm going to start the attack. Nope, that's not going to work. That's just not going to work. Threatening maiden 2, queen takes f7. Also threatening pawn takes pawn. No defense to that. Thank you. Banco Gambit have to, has to be played somewhat differently to really get a good game. Although I think it's still a playable opening. Gun sailing, good luck. Okay, my favorite opening, the Scandinavian. And now, okay. Fine. I'll play it safe for now, for now but... Okay. Okay. This one I'll take. Mm -hmm. I like my pawn structure. Or whatever that's worth. So perhaps an endgame. No problem. Exchanging is always good. Okay, let's keep it. Let's keep it in the middle game for now. I can win a pawn. Should I do it? Why not? I mean, it's always it's always challenging to win a pawn. Usually, you have to do so much things, so many things to actually win a pawn that when it's just given to you. Well, now you really want to do something, huh? All right, so you know what? I'm going to exchange some pieces because uh, I don't want you to attack me for no apparent reason. And I'm just going to stop your ideas cold here. Okay. And just get in, get in there. Get in there with my queen. All right, all right, all right. Just close by me, right? Okay, fair enough. Okay, you want to attack me. That's what I gathered from this move, so I'm going to move out. This is interesting, because now, what if I play... Okay, what if I play here, e5, to open up a bit, open up this position a bit, so my pieces can breathe some fresh air. Uh-huh, okay, so I'll take this one, and I'll stop this whole bishop-queen battery thing got going. Still, still some issues to solve here, right, for black? Still a little bit lacking in development, I would say. <clears throat> but an ending would be beautiful. Absolutely marvelous. If I could get it. Okay, that's a pawn sack. No, it's not. The queen's defending. What am I saying? What am I saying with that idea? Okay, so let me... Let me get my queen back to defensive post here. So I can finally complete my development. It's really important to complete your development. My rooks need to be connected. Yes, now finally my rooks are connected. 
this is already too little too late. And my rooks are coming out. Yes, that, that's also too late, I would say. Okay, that's a check, which I don't want to take. So I'm going to just play king over. Exactly, that's what I was thinking. So now let's get active. Time for me to get active, finally. And time for you to go sailing, I think. I think it's going to be that time pretty soon because uh, now I've got some serious threats believe it or not my threats are quite serious and here are just some of them here are just some of them yes of course but what if I just continue hitting that deep deep fried bishop on d4 it's a very deep fried bishop now on d4, right? Can't move, and it's fried. So I'm going to win the bishop as well. And that's going to be the beginning of the end, or maybe the end of the end, depending how you look at it. It certainly won't be pretty, is what I'm trying to say. All right. Tough game. You played well, but somewhere you needed to get up more activity against my king. I think maybe you had some chances there. Get me someone tough. All right. A4, H5. Tough, tough move. I've done that myself in some states. In some states. I don't mean U.S. Okay. A4, H5. Interesting. Okay. So, good luck, and uh, what do you have here? Another banker? Yeah, nice. Love the banker. I mean, love playing it. Or playing against it, either. Either one. That's it. Get you out of the book. Move five. A bit early. All right. Let's try to just take a pawn. Why not? It's not a gambit, though, anymore. You didn't sacrifice anything. Yeah, these moves are tough to... Oh, okay. A sack. Okay, well, we just did one of those. I thought that was quite clear. That this is not the way to play the Bank of Gambit. Ah! A new move, fine. I'm playing the old move. Waiting for that bishop to be developed to g7. Ha ha ha. Which I can take then with my bishop on c3. I'm not too kind sometimes, I know. But that's only when my opponents play the banker, because really they need to know what to do here. I'm sorry, a4, h5. That's probably the best move. All right. Or that. Or that. Also not bad. Let me develop my knight to a3 so that on g6 I still have bishop c3, see? Very annoying, right? Yes. Continuing with my thought process here. If you don't develop your bishop, how are you going to develop your kingside? Okay, actually, the ending's not bad, but should I go into it? No, I'll, I'll just keep it simple with all the pieces on the board. Just keep all the pieces on the board.
Yeah, tough to master up canopy, I have to say. Without the bishop being developed, it's really tough. Not really clear why go through all that pain. Oh, throw caution to the winds. That's nice. Okay, well, let's, that's fine. And you got your bishop developed. How nice. Well, fine. Just close it out for now. Uh, okay. Thank you for another pawn. And, uh, you know, I will pin this guy. And I will, well, b4, knight b4, queen b4, knight d3, king d2, knight takes queen, bishop takes queen, and I'm up a lot. So I'm going to do that. I know you had, oh, just that? Okay. No problem. I'll accept that. I'll accept that gift and just move my bishop away. Now this is not even the banker gambit. This is like the everything gambit. And I castled. Wow. It's going to be tough now. Let's open up the position a bit. I think that will be the end. That will be pretty much the end as I open everything up. Preparing for the final onslaught as my opponent's time is dwindling down. All right. Oh, you found you found it in yourself to play more. Fine. There. How about now? All right. Flag. Uh, okay. Tough game. But the Benko, you got to play much more accurately. It's a tough opening. You're giving up a pawn too early. Not to uh, look at the details here. Okay, Lord Kinbauti, Kinbaut. Uh, yeah, my favorite Scandinavian coming up, and here we are. Okay, absolutely, no problems there. Easy schmeasy so far. Just getting our pieces out, pretty much. All right, nice move. Has been played before. Actually, Karyakin, Sergei Karyakin, played this a few times against me, this move, 94. So you're in good company here. But here I'm going to take with the G-Pawn. Like in the good old days, when I played the Karo Khan. And got some serious... Oh, this one. All right, let's castle. Serious counter chances. And now you castle this side. Whoa, we. All right, let's try to open up the position a bit. I did not have a threat. Oh, so you think. Maybe, maybe you're right. I'll just keep developing them. At one point, I'll have a threat. You develop long enough, you're getting a lot of threats in. I know that. D5. Okay, cool. Um, you know what? Let me. Should I close it up or not? I don't know. This is tough. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna play Knight C5. I think that will be good. Complicated. Got complicated very quickly. I'm calculating long variations, I have to say. I don't know why, but I'm doing it. I can't tell you. 
because my opponent may be listening through a second account. So, but it has something to do with queen takes c4 first. Queen c4 first. This is different. Let's see. See what happens now. Aha! Uh -huh. Not a move I thought of. I thought queen c4 was better, but now let's see. Let's open it up. Let's continue attacking here. Go into the attacking super duper mode. See what happens with my e4. Looming. e4. It just loomed all the way in. Now what? Take a, a knight. Let's go here. I don't care about my bishop. I have mating ideas here. Are you serious? Can't ignore me like that. It's made in two. Check. And mate. Okay. That was a good counterattack. All of 21 moves. Who do we have now? And the lucky winner, possibly about to lose, is. Pum, 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 pum. All right, we got a serious competitor here. Good luck. All right, let's get something going here. Okay. Okay. A king's Indian of all, of all people, perhaps. Very quiet play for now for white. Very quiet and I would say patient. Quiet and patient play by white. Okay, let me force some impatience into this. I got the ape one on a good square. That should be an accomplishment of sorts in my system of values anyway. All right, now this I'm gonna keep. Actually, I can play knight b3. Yeah, play knight b3 to really block it up. Okay, now just move the queen ever so little, ever so slightly. Okay, now we don't need to help white. That bishop is really in a mess on e1, isn't he? All right, now, okay, if we take twice, yeah, we'll have an advantage. All right, let's take, take. And go here, let's change this guy and go here. That should give us a nice advantage forever, forever and ever. That one we don't take. That one is fine, the way it is. Checky. Okay. Okay. Good stuff. Okay, let's take that. Move that. And go here. Okay. Clear enough. Okay, how do we win this? Let's go here to start. Okay.
Very complicated. Maybe I misplayed it. Maybe I misplayed this a bit. Let's see. I still like my position more. But I agree, it's not much. Taran 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 ta tan ta tan. Mm -hmm. Okay, time to convert into a different type of position. Let's see what happens. See what happens. Let's see how black, how white can draw this. I'm very interested. I'm, I'll learn something from this, for sure, from this experience. From this fine experience here. Yeah, not clear how to win. Probably not much left here. This is a strange move. Maybe not. Huh. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Not too good, huh? Do I have any chances to. Probably not. Okay, I'll play it like this. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, somehow don't have too many winning chances. My king is a bit better place than it used to be. Nice, I guess. It's always nice to have the king a bit better placed than it used to be, right? Whoa, look at that. Even better placed than it used to be. Draw. 
what are we doing here, huh? Looks like quite a drawish position now, huh? Nothing to do, I guess. I don't see what I can do. I guess I'll offer Draw. Good game. Tough game. Yep. Okay. Favorite pawn. Good luck. All right, let's do this again. The exchange ration of the Queen's Gambit client. Brought to you by favorite pawn and myself. Knight c6, an uncommon developing move, but who knows, maybe there's something to it. Let's uh, figure out what is it that made it such a rare guest at top level events. How about if we take this knight and go queen b3? with an idea of attacking a couple pawns at the same time. Maybe that's why it has rarely been played. Let's try to figure that out. So, the b7 and the d5 pawn, they're hanging. Hard to imagine how to defend them both at the same time. That'll pull, put me pawn up. All right, well, let's take one of them, as promised do this in between check just to make sure our b pawn isn't hanging too take the bishop oh then i take the bishop okay fine take the bishop with jack that creates some issues right the king exactly now we take the pawn i think there was a better move there for black i think c6 is the move I think I missed some of that. A bit. Okay, now I don't really want that king to come back. So let's attack the rook this way. That knight on c5 will be a monster. What? Interesting in between move. Okay, knight check. I'll just like my knight on c5. I don't care. I don't care about anything else. My god, really? All right, and then we're gonna go with this interesting idea of preparing to unlock the power of the queen and the knight. All right, there we are. We just unlocked it. Now we're up a queen. Thank you. And who do we have now? Come on, come on wherever you are. Come on. Bam. Okay, air on trouble. Good luck. Just for you, the d5, e5, Albin counter gambit. What? You don't want it? Fine, I'll just take a pawn. Interesting. This is interesting, truly. Okay, I'm gonna try to defend this pawn in c4. Okay, you're gonna be like that, huh? Interesting. What should I do now? Okay, just gonna develop now. 
I'm just going to develop all my pieces as quickly as possible. That's a plan, right? All right, and now what? You're going to take my knight? All right. That's fine. I can live with that. Position my queen where it can hurt. Fine. Defending against all my threats. All right, fine. How about this one? All right, this one you didn't defend against. Ha ha ha. Got you finally. I was trying to trick you. All right, well, that's a whole bishop. And that's a whole bishop. That's a, that's a lot of bishop I just got. That's just a check. And the pawn, grant you, but I'm up a piece. And I'm developing. I'm developing an attack on other pieces. That will lead to winning of new pieces. I'll be two pieces up. Believe you me, I'll be two pieces up very quickly under this scenario here. See? All my pieces are getting developed while attacking your pieces. That's a bad sign. Look at this. More pieces are going. And yet, we're just starting this escapade. This escapade is just starting here. But I got more hits coming if you want. If you want them, you can take them. I got them. Two pieces, though. That's a lot. Something happened in the opening. Needs correction. Okay. And Abbas Child, good luck. What's this is that? Okay. Good luck to you. And uh, okay, the Slav defense. Everyone's playing the Slav. You can't stop the Slav. Okay, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it. The simple way, just exchange stuff. Exchange and develop. Okay, A6, you know about that move. My God. People have, have become so proficient in the opening that it's impossible to, to deal with them on an even footing. All right, I'm going to try to get some pieces in there, get some development in before it's too late. G6, defending before I even attack. That's like great stuff. Should I just, you know what? I'll just go for it. I mean, why not, right? You got to live it up sometimes. All right. I'm just going to go and take, I don't know, what should I take? Maybe I shouldn't take anything, just play h5. Just continue my attack. Really now. Okay. Let me keep the knight for the attack. Come should come in useful. And now I think I'm gonna break through. Oi oi oi. Now this is not a good idea, although I don't know if you had a good one at that point, but All right, well, first of all, let's make sure that queen is nicely parked on h8. Then we'll take a rook. That's already something to bring home. So a certain hunter's souvenir here. And then we can take this pawn again. See how you cope with that idea? Ah, okay. That's actually a good move. Now, let me check you here. 
and take another one of your shields. Another little armor is going bye bye here. Take this guy too. See, my attack is kind of flowing nicely, right? I think it's got a nice flow to it. And then I can pick up the queen too. And now we're talking. All right. Guys, this was a lot of fun. Two draws you got today and uh, two tough games. Um, the one I, the first draw was really dangerous for me. Um, got deflected by a phone call. Nice deflection there. Um, but uh, keep up the good work. Um, it's always fun playing you. And I uh, hope you learned something. Good luck. Have a great day.